वेलकम बैक गाइस सो दिस इज क्वेश्चन 16 पार्ट बी ऑफ आवर बुक इंट्रोडक्टरी सर्किट एनालिसिस बाय रॉबर्ट एल बॉलेस्टेट सो व्हाट वी हैव टू फाइंड हियर सो प्रीवियसली वी हैव सीन दैट वी हैड टू फाइंड आउट द वोल्टेजेस अक्रॉस द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ आवर सर्किट बट हियर वी आर गिवन टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यूज ऑफ वी वन एंड वी टू वाइल दीज वन वी वन वी टू आर नॉट द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंसेज बट आर द पॉइंट वोल्टेज ओके सो वी कैन सी हियर दैट दीज आर द वोल्टेज वीच वी कैन फाइंड आउट ओके सो सिमिलर कॉन्सेप्ट हैज ऑल्सो बीन प्लेन इन वन ऑफ माई वीडियो एंड आई विल पुट द लिंक ऑफ दैट वीडियो इन आर डिस्क्रिप्शन हेयर सो यू मे सी हेयर दैट वट वुड बी द वैल्यू ऑफ वोल्टेज हेयर सो दे आर are basically two or three methods to calculate the voltages at these points here so uh, what are basically those methods so let me first describe them here so if we have the impedances like this one this one okay and this is basically the source this is let me call it z1 and this is z2 and the source voltage here is let me call it v of s so uh, the voltages across different points here are known so let me call this voltage as v1 and this v2 okay so this is plus minus v1 this is plus minus v2 and uh, let us have this point which is let me call x and if i want to find out the voltage at v of x how can i find it out i should have to use this vs and i have to subtract this v1 from this vs and then i will get this v of x which is basically the voltage with respect to this ground okay or this reference point similar approach can also be used here but in order to tackle the issues here or simplify my calculations i am going to use another method here and uh, in that method what i have to do let me again draw a simplified version okay so this one and this one here okay so let me divide my impedances into two voltages which are this z1 and this z2 okay so uh, let us have this z1 equal to 4.7 kilo ohm okay and all the remaining resistors are basically here so what we have to do if i want to find out the value of v1 here okay so that v1 is basically which a circuit or the source has to consume or all across this one and here i will get this voltage equal to 0 because according to the kvl all the voltage will be consumed across all the elements or impedances connected in a circuit okay so that's why the voltage which is here will be consumed across this one so actually to find out this v1 i have to find out the voltage across this z2 okay so the question is what will be the value of z2 so z2 is basically the series combination of this 30 kilo ohm 3.3 kilo ohm and 10 kilo ohm okay so now let me calculate the value of z2 so z2 is how much this is the inductive reactance so let me represent it with this j 30k okay similarly this is a resistor here so 3.3k okay and this is a capacitor so let me represent it with minus j 10k okay so let me simplify it so z2 is equal to using this one here 3.3k and similarly plus j 30k minus 10k because it is these two are added together and i have got this one now here z2 is 3.3k plus j this one is uh, sorry this is 30k here so let me this is 30k here so i will get here 20k 
okay so this is my z2 or in polar form what i will get here in polar form i will get it this 3.3 3 is 3300 and plus this is 20000 1 2 3 so that is 20000 and with this i will have this iota so this one here and let me convert it into the polar form okay so it would be 20 to 70 point how much 0 0.42 with an angle of how much 80.63 so 80.63 degrees and that is basically in ohm so that is the value of z2 which is the resistance across which i have to find out the voltage okay uh, so after it what i have to do in order to find the voltages across all of these elements i should also have the total impedance here as well so the total impedance here will be z of t is equal to z1 plus z2 okay so that is basically the total impedance so i just have the value that is 4.7 k and the value of z2 is already known so let me use the value here which is mentioned so 3.3 k plus z 20k so when these two will be added together what i will get i will get 8k plus j 20k so that is the total impedance okay in order to calculate it in polar form what i have to do so let me calculate it in polar form so 8k is 8000 plus 20 one two three this one okay so that is uh, z of t and now converting it into the polar form this one so that is 21 540 point 21 540.66 okay and the angle it has is how much that is in ohm so let me use this omega here and the angle it has is 68.19 68.19 degrees so that is the total impedance okay now i have to find out the voltage across this uh, z2 so let me move it down i want to find out the voltage across this z2 so in order to do it let me use the voltage divider law so according to the voltage divider law or voltage divider rule uh, this is basically v1 in our circuit so v1 is z2 divided by zt multiplied by e okay and in which circuit is this this is basically here okay so that is v1 i want to find out the v1 and this circuit had been has been transformed into this one okay so this is basically e so let me put their values here so z2 is how much z2 is 20 270.4 is with an angle of 80.63 divided by the total voltage and that is 21 540.66 with an angle of 68.19 and the total voltage here is how much that is 120 volts with an angle of 0 degree so 120 with an angle of 0 degrees okay so now uh, let me calculate it so v1 will be here 2270.4 multiplied by 120 divided by the 21540.66 okay and here this is 80.63 plus 0 degree these are the angles of the numerator terms 
while subtracting 68.19 from it okay so now uh, let me calculate v1 okay so it will be it would be 20 270.4 multiplied by 120 okay and divided by 21540.66 okay so that is basically 112.92 112.92 and with an angle of 80.63 80.63 minus 68.19 so that would be 12.44 12.44 degrees and this is basically in volts so that is the value of v1 okay so v1 is calculated and uh, this v1 is basically this voltage so now if i want to find out the v2 what i have to do i have to transform my circuit into another version in which we will have again z2 here i will have this voltage source and here let me call it z3 and z4 okay and here it will be this voltage will be how much this would be v2 as we have in our original circuit here so that is v2 but that v2 is here and this z4 is equal to how much z4 let me use this z4 and that is a combination of these two impedances okay so 3.3 .3 kilo and this capacitive reactance so 3.3 .3 kilo ohm and minus j 10 kilo because we have a capacitor here you may see here very clearly that is a capacitor so z4 is this one okay so now uh, that is already in the rectangular form let me convert it into the polar form so what i will have three three double zero minus ten thousand okay with the iota here so that would be this one and now complex this three and here i will have 10530.4 10530.4 with an angle of how much with an angle of minus 71.73 minus 71.73 degrees this is again in ohm so that is the omega so that is the value of the z4 now what i have to do i have to find out the value of z4 and we can see that in our previous circuit and now in this circuit as well the total impedance will remain same because the value i will have z1 plus z2 which was in my previous circuit is equal to the z3 plus z4 which is now here okay so these are same and these are basically the total impedance so now in order to find out the voltage of v2 what i have to do i have to write z4 divided by zt and that is multiplied by my total voltage okay putting their values and simplifying them so 10 53 multiplied by 120 divided by the total impedance and that is 21540 21540.66 okay and their angles are the angle of it is minus 71.73 it has zero while the denominator term which will be subtracted okay so the denominator term is this one so that would be minus 68.19 so minus 68.19 19 it will be so now calculating it what i will have 10 530.4 multiplied by 120 
okay and dividing it over 21540.66 so i will have here 58.67 so v2 will be equal to 58.67 and the angle it has will be 71.73 plus 68.19 okay so that would be 139.92 while the signs here are negative so minus 139.92 and this is in volts so that is the value of v2 okay so we have calculated the values of v1 and v2 in our circuit by using the method which i have described and transform my circuit into two more circuits and then analyzing them okay so that's it for today and i will see you with some more questions in our upcoming videos thank you so much and see you soon